What's up, everybody? Tasteless here, bringing you a 2v2 with Uncapped Ted and David Kim versus Stefan Haynes and, and M. Skull. I hope I'm saying his name right space. here. Um, I'm super excited to bring this game to you guys. I have not what experienced the 2v2 mode here in Battle Aces, um, but as you can see, it, you do both spawn right next to each other with your starting resource gathering structure. In this game, both players went for a fast expand. Uh, so it's going to be green versus blue here uh, in the bottom left, battling red and orange in the top right. Right away, we see that it's Blink Tech here with some recalls. Now, the recalls are very good at keeping your base safe. They're not that fast to move out on the map, but if you do get attacked, they can go right back to any of your structures that you have. On the mini-map, we can see that both players are taking a third base. It looks like Blue's Blinks are driving out the orange Scorpions up in the top. Meanwhile, the recalls are going to set up for a counterattack, but with both the gun bots in the red and the scorpions in the orange uh, pressuring the third base, it looks like the recalls are going to have to be sent back here. No worker harass. But I think if I understand the four of these units together correctly, the recalls and the blinks are slightly stronger but less nimble um, than the gun bots and the scorpions. So they're going to back up, and looks like once again we're going to have another attempted harass opportunity here with the recalls moving through the bottom. Uh, fourth base is on both sides started, although Blue is a little bit slow on his. He may be banking up more resources to tack up. And he's going to be wrapping around up here into that second base. In the top left, both the Gunbots and the Scorpions are going to come back and try to target this one Blue base. There's the recall animation, so they come in there. Uh, there are blinks just below our screenshot here, but you got to be careful when you do those recalls because sometimes you can end up coming back to defend and just being trapped inside your base and losing the fight as well. So it's a bit of a double-edged sword. Back into the middle of the map here, we have the blinks coming out, putting a little bit of pressure, trying to drive back the center control here from orange and red. We do see... Um, Again, recalls moving down towards the bottom right. Now, the blink player has to be very careful because it is a one versus two. So he can try to do damage, micro out of it with that blink ability uh, and stay safe. But meanwhile, again, quietly, these recalls are going to make it all the way down here. Can they actually take this base out in time? Might be better to target one of these buildings than to spread the damage. And instead, a counterattack is going to come up here. The recall happens. Drive back the gun bots. It looks like the blinks are, in fact, going to be the ones in the bottom right trying to do some damage. Using the surface area in the back, he's going to try to tuck these units back here as the workers build in for the green player. And it looks like he might have gotten one expansion. Um, the bottom left team did to the to the um, upper right. And now with the push of the third, the recall is going to once again make it basically impossible to do too much damage. Not a single worker is killed off. As the game goes on, we see that uh, our blue player is teching into quite, um, I, I believe they're advanced gun bots here, as well as I think butterflies are being made here. Okay, so we have some butterflies coming out, and these can be pretty scary. So we're finally getting out of that tier one tech and just the massing of these basic units. We have some advanced recalls coming in here as well to supply a little bit of anti-air here, although they tend to be a little bit weaker in my own experience with them. And we're going to be staying back. Tension's building here in the middle of the map. You can take a fifth base, by the way, uh, on this map. You would be taking uh, one side the very top center, the other side the bottom center. Although, it is really hard to hold those bases. You're almost expanding into your opponent at that point in time. Moving now through the bottom. It seems like they do want to try to build some tension here near the fourth base. The gun bots are going to wrap around. Keep in mind, these obstructions on the map, they can make it uh, bad positionally for your army. And the recalls may be hanging out a little bit too far here in the top. The blinks do come in to take on the gun bots. Uh, and we're seeing this wrap around begin to push through here. The gun bots not able to quite do that much damage. The butterflies are micro back to not be shot down in the air. But you can see neither the blinks or the recalls are quite as quick as this. At the same time, though, the army is strong enough. They are going to go ahead and collapse onto this position, taking out orange and red immediately after that. Instead of attacking the opposite corner of the map, they're going to go for the much closer third base. They take out a couple workers. The recalls come in, and orange immediately escapes. But now we've got two players on three bases versus two players on four. So the lead is beginning to mount here for our team. Uh, whose perspective we're watching in. Now, instead of remaking that fourth base, we've got a Kraken in here. This is an extremely powerful endgame unit. Can do a lot of damage to ground. The attack is going to come in here, and the Blinks come in. Keep in mind, there's not a lot of anti-air here to fight this right now. 
Neither the recalls or the blinks can actually shoot up at a huge amount of air units flying in here uh, for our red player. And although the ground fight is slowly being won here by uh, green and blue, the reality is red and orange are going to have everything in the air they can shoot down. And so they crush that position and still manage to keep their bases open here. We have another recall coming in here to reposition, although I don't know how helpful this is going to be. That Kraken can almost kite those advanced recalls without having to engage it. Won't happen very quickly, but over time he could start to win that fight. He's going to push in here now with the aid of some more ground units. He's going to come in, and again, if this Kraken's still not picked out, still doing damage, the rest of these units are going to come in. We've got some ballistas here at the very end to try to help out, but there's just not that much left over. The Kraken staying alive, orange and red dominating. And I think this means they'll be able to push through, not just this base, but go all the way to the starting location uh, and win the game there. And that is the point of no return. GG, thank you so much for watching that. Be sure to like and subscribe. And go to tastelessthreads.com for my merch. Um, that was fun. I hope to see you in a future video.